Roger Williams was the leader of the Rhode Island Colony. He was a Puritan and a theologian who left England to migrate to the New World. He was a supporter of religious tolerance and the freedom of separation of church and state. Roger Williams married Mary Bernard. Roger and Mary Williams decided to leave England for the New World and arrived in Boston in the colony of Massachusetts on February 5th, 1631. At the Massachusetts Bay Colony in 1634, Roger Williams became the minister of the church at Salem. There he soon gained a reputation as a troublesome person. He argued that the royal charter did not justify taking the land that was in possession of the Indians. And he declared that people should not be punished for religious differences. In 1636, his views clashed with those of John Winthrop, governor of Massachusetts, who banished him from the Puritan colony. Officials of Massachusetts Bay Colony acted to send Williams back to England, but he fled into the wilderness in the early 1636. Eventually, Williams made his way down south to Narragansett Bay, and he chose a site on a settlement of a cove where two rivers emptied. He bought the land from the Narragansett Indians. The Narragansett Indians provided William with land, and he founded Providence, later the capital of Rhode Island. He set up a democratic land association, he went to England to secure a charter for Providence. The Bloody Tenet of Persecution in 1644 was published during his first visit to England. The book upheld his argument for the separation of church and state. From 1654 to 1657, Williams was the president of the Rhode Island Colony. In 1657, he contributed to Rhode Island's decision to provide refuge for Quakers who had been banished from other colonies even though he disagreed with their religious teachings. Williams earned his living by farming and trading with the Indians. He knew the Indians well and compiled a dictionary of their language. Roger Williams was a clergyman, a founder of the colony of Rhode Island in America, and a strong supporter of religious and political liberty. His beliefs consisted of people having the right to complete religious freedom rather than mere religious toleration that can be denied at the government's will. He also helped establish a complete separation of church and state for Rhode Island. This example contributed greatly to a similar system of separation of powers by the farmers who wrote the Constitution of the United States of America. seen as an iconic figure throughout history that displayed acts of exploration, encounter, and exchange. He was banished from the colony of Massachusetts by John Winthrop and was aided by the Native Americans who traded goods with them. He explored new land and his own colony. The lasting impact of Roger Williams was that he had established his own colony based on the principles of freedom of religion, which is now known as the state of Rhode Island. And that is my National History Day project on Roger Williams, the founder of Providence and Rhode Island.